Hi, I'm Stu, and welcome back to another LumaFusion video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you a color wash technique that's simple enough to do once you get the hang of it, but has a lot of flexibility in what you can do with it later on. So let's get on with the basics. First things first, I'm going to drag down from within the titles a plain white title. And then once we've done that, double tap on it, and then that way we can make some changes to it. Now we want to get rid of the text here and actually add a shape. So tap on the plus symbol, tap shape, and it's this rectangle I'm actually wanting, which is quite good. And then we can get rid of the your text here. And then all we need to do with this is increase the size. So if we go down to scale and just bring it so that the color itself and the shape goes slightly larger than the 16 by 9 ratio canvas. Once we've got that, just come back out into the main window. And then the next thing we're going to do is just stretch that along the length of our video clip, which in this case is a young lady just doing a little spin around in silhouette while standing in front of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. So we'll switch the layer back on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to edit and frame and fit the blending mode. And this is the important part. So we change the blend mode to color. Just work our way down, choose color, and you'll see because it was white, it makes the initial layering effect lack in white. But we are actually going to change it to different colors. So we start off with white and we set the blending mode to color, then we come back out of frame and fit. Then what we want to do is divide up this plain white rectangle layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself probably about a second and a half at the front end of things, highlight the graphic, and then we will just trim the front end away. And then I'm probably going to do it in two second increments, I reckon, somewhere around about that. So we're going at three seconds, 12. Do Command B and make a cut there. And then five seconds, 12, make a cut there. And then finally, seven seconds and 12, and we'll make a cut there. That then allows us the back end, which we can take away, meaning that we've got color at the beginning and color at the end. What we next want to do is change each of the different layers to a color. Now, I quite like the front end being black and white, so we'll leave that as white. So let's just work on the second option. We'll just double tap on that. And then all you've got to do, is so when you're in the title section, is you've just got to change the face color. So we're working here and we just tap on the white and then choose any other color. Now I'm going to go for a kind of sepia effect. So I'm going to go into the oranges and probably around about here or here. You can make it a little bit more subtle, but we'll have it quite strong in this sense. Now, as you can see, when you're in titles, it doesn't show you the blending mode effect. If you come back out, you'll see it gets applied and we have a sepia tone. Then the next color I want in, I think we'll make a blue color. Again, double tap on it, change the face color, and we'll go into one of the lower blues, either a soft blue or a more kind of cyan blue. I think we'll go for the cyan blue. Now, do we want it a bit stronger? Yeah, we'll go for that. Come back out, and you can see the sort of blue tone effect that we're going for, and then it comes back out to color. Now, what makes this all work is the fact that in LumaFusion now, we've got soft wipe transitions. And what we want to do is blend between the different layers. So we have to have a soft white coming in, soft white between the two colors, then another soft white, and then a soft white coming back out to the color effect. So to do that, I think because she's moving from left to right, we'll start with a soft white coming in from the right hand side. Drag that down. Now I've got these preset to around about 10 frames, so they're going to be quite quick. So if I just zoom in a little bit, highlight the actual transition, and then I'll pull it to half a second. You can see the effect actually taking place there. Now with the white to sort of sepia effect, I think we'll maybe go a little bit different and wipe up. So we'll use soft wipe up, place them in between. And again, I'm just gonna stretch that to half a second. So that blends between the two. And then this one, I'm gonna go wipe down, pop it there, and then just stretch it out to half a second again. And then in the final one, I think because she's working from left to right, what we want to do is finish off everything with the wipe going to the left. This is a bit counterintuitive, but trust me on this, if we increase it to half a second, you'll see it actually goes from left to right. Whereas if I'd used a right hand one, it would have gone the opposite way because it's an ending transition. 
So if we actually zoom out and then just play it through, you can see the color transitions. Now, if that's too fast for you, then obviously all you've got to do is increase the length of the actual transition itself. So for example, have the color wash sepia, I could make that a lot bigger, and then I can go into the actual blend between the two of the soft wipe and then stretch it out to a second. And then if we play that, we go from black and white through to the sepia effect, then the blue. And again, without even increasing the wash itself, you can just stretch that out to a second. So we start off at half a second to blend to black and white, sepia at second, blue at a second, it's really nice, and then back to colour. There you go, that's the technique for today. It's as simple as that. If you've enjoyed this simple little video tutorial today, by all means, give the video a like. If you've entered a subscription, by all means, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring the bell to be notified of the next video tutorial. Catch you on the next one. See you later.